Hi and welcome to the web GIS and web design and development course. So, previous tutorial, I showed you how you can easily add an interactive map using leaflet JS, and I also showed you how you can easily add the different types of vector layer, circle, polyline, polygon, line feature how you can add easily if you didn't watch this video yet you can simply go to this playlist and watch this video so today i will try to show you how you can easily add a marker on your web gis page as well as when you click to your marker you can get some information and i also try to show you how you can easily use the different types of marker from your online images so let's see so you can see this is my code editor here i already attached all of this necessary cdn as well as i also link with the index.css and index.js file with my html code here so now i will try to show you how you can easily add a marker on your specific region okay so simply you can go your javascript file here you can use add a code for adding a marker on your specific region on your map so for this you can take a here variable so i take the variable cons before the variable i simply put this keyword cons then i take the variable this variable name i will give in here marker one okay so now I use here the L dot marker. This is the leaflet function, and here I define my specific region coordinate. So if you want, you can easily get your specific coordinate. I mean latitude and longitude. You can simply go to this site, Zioson dot io. Here you can get all of this uh, coordinate or uh, or latitude or, or longitude value you can easily access from this so in this particular case i want to add the marker for this region so i simply you can click here this marker and put this click here on your specific region you can get here this is the coordinate of this so this is the latitude so i simply copy from this and i paste with my code editor and i also copy here the longitude from here and paste in my code editor okay so now i add a marker and i define the latitude and longitude so now i want to add this marker in my map so for this i use this variable here the variable name is marker one so i use here the marker one and use add true function and here I use my variable name. My variable name is map. When I simply save this and go to my result FBIS page, you can see here a marker will be added here. Okay. So you can add, go too long. You can see this marker will be added here. So if you want, you can, when you click on your marker, you can get some information if you want to do this easily by using a code so i will try to show you how you can do this so for this you can use a bind pop-up function so here i use the marker one this is the variable name and now i want to use here the bind pop-up function bind pop-up function and uh, this is the function now here i add what kind of information i want to add here suppose here i want to add this place is also jagannath university so for this here i add here the this name place name jagannath university okay so when i save this and you can go to your result page you can see this is the marker 
when you click on your marker you can see this is the name which you include in your code between the bind pop-up option okay if you want you can come um, styling this name so you need to you can use here the html code suppose now i want to declare the heading of this code of this line so i simply use here the h3 and i also close with this code with closing tag will be h3 okay when i save it you can go your result page and click on your marker now you can see this will be heading h3 like this okay so now you can also do some specific uh, color or other styling you can easily do it from your css page you can see this is the css and now this h3 is uh, now you can connect with h3 with your css code so now i want to add something here so this is the h3 now i want to add something here so if you want to change the color of this font you can simply use the color function and if you want to use here the red okay simply save it and go your web browser web page you can simply click here but it's not working here so you can use here the h3 but here you can you also use the h3 tag okay so you can connect the h3 with I save it again and try to this is not working here because so I also tried this code here you can see this is the H3 tag and I also close this H3 and now I want to add here the H3 and here I use the color is red okay, I save it I save this code when i go to here and click to here it also not work because what's the problem here h3 i want to check this h3 wait and i put this tag h3 okay and i also added the link in the css can see now it will be what but what's the problem first so you can see here the h1 tag I, this is the one tag i already defined here the text align center i also use the background color of this okay green and i also define here the color code but when i use here this h3 tag here and this h3 tag with connect with this it will not work in why so i use here the red color for this so what's the problem here i also define the background color background color is green okay 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 i find this problem here you don't use here the quotation okay so now when you save this it will be work i hope okay so now you can see this will take will be red color so when you use this code you can get to error you can see this color will be not showing first time when i use the port okay so but when i remove this port it will be showing here and this is the syntax when you use any wrong syntax this port will be not working okay so
so very carefully when you use and i hope when you practice more and more it will be not happened for you if you okay so now if you want to increase the font size so you can simply use the font font size function and you can use the 20 pixels okay and save it and go your web page you can find to click you can see this font size will be increased and you can see this will be added here okay so and you can also another that uh, of uh, properties or attributes you can easily add and style your pop up so if you want to add here the background color simply you can use, use the background color suppose i want to use the pink color okay and save it so now you can see here when you click the background color is pink okay you can see the background color is pink and other information or other styling you can easily do using this here so if you want to add a something information using here the list you can simply type here the list suppose you want to use here uh, jagannath university this is the name so this is the name so you tell the this is the name okay and i also use here the bracket tag br tag because i want to use here the new line so i use the bracket tab and i also use here the same h3 tag okay and i define here the dhaka and also text use the dhaka location location i use here the location is dhaka okay and i also close this h3 tag here and save it when you click to your you can see this is the true information according to your list so if you want you can easily use the amount of list about, about this information of this place you can easily add here okay so can easily all of this style and when you will more practice i hope you can easily understand what the happen okay so now let's see you can see this is our default marker so if you want you can easily add your custom icon here so for this you can need a all type a also some code so now i will try to show you how you can add the custom marker in your code so for this you can also take a variable here so suppose uh, before the variable you use the cons and then this variable name is icon and in the leaflet you can use the lib l for leaflet and use the icon this is the function of leaflet and now you can add here your custom information or or custom uh, icon information here include in a object so i here use the curly bracket so first of all you need here to icon url so this is the property you can include this icon url as well as you can also uh, control this icon size so you can use here the icon size okay so define here icon size in this is the height 20 pixel and i also define the speed 30 pixel okay and you can use here the different type of url so you can simply go your google you can see here the different type of default mark you can simply copy this url so you can go here click here and you can see here the open in as a new tab click here you can see this is the url you can simply copy this url okay and the paste in your code you can see url icon url paste here okay so when you save this code and go your result page you can see this marker will not change what's the wrong you can try to find it so here you can use this icon size and other information okay but we cannot add this icon yet in our marker so for this you can add your marker you can icon you can add here the marker variable so you can simply 
put a comma and use here the curly bracket and use here the variable name which variable you can use for the storage of your icon information icon url or icon size you can simply add here the this information so here i can use the icon okay so here i use the icon so i use the icon so i simply save here so now go to this what the happen that you can use this icon before you can use this code so i simply copy this code and paste before the marker one code okay so i simply paste here and i save it so now go to your result page you can see the custom icon will be appeared here okay so when you click here you can go your information get your information if you want you can increase your custom url size so here i use the 100 and i also use the 100 okay so simply save it so now you can see this is the icon is uh, very big size you can easily okay so you can easily get here the icon here you can see when you click to here this you can get the information okay so i hope you understand how you can add the icon so if you want to add the another icon or you can also add another function this function is when you hover hover when you hover this icon you can get a result or you can get a message when you hover this okay so you can simply do this so so first thing you need to use here the bind tooltip so here i use the marker one dot bind tool tip okay and now you this is the function and what you want to message you want to show so suppose you want to show here the click me okay so when you save it and go your page with this when you hover it you can see a message will be short this message is click me you can see this message will be short this message is click me okay so when you click here you can get your information all of this information about this place okay so you you can easily do it uh, your add a marker as well as you can also add your custom marker as well as you can add your some information about this places and you can also add the hover effect this is the hover effect when you hover this your marker you can see this is the message click me okay so this is the marker you can also add here so if you have your marker about in your storage you can also save your marker in your storage so here you can see here i already stored a marker and this marker is saved in your mar in my local storage here you can see this is the name marker.png so i can simply use here marker.png so here i use the suppose this is the name marker dot c n g and save it so now you can see this marker custom marker will be added here so this marker i save in my storage and now i add with my add with my code okay so when i click here you can get the same information so you can easily add any marker or any custom marker you want to use this code okay so i hope you enjoy this video and if you have you know any understand or don't uh, any get to tell any don't understand you any get information you can simply comment in my comment section i will try to answer and i also provide this code for your practice in my telegram group as well as other groups so i hope you can practice from here and the next tutorial i will try to make a project using this marker tab as well as uh, previous class which i want to show you i can i will make a project for your practice and i also give all of this information or code in my telegram group so you can easily practice from here okay so okay goodbye